Dead Cells. The main game. We played a lot of Dead Cells over the years. Um, but this kind of Dead Cells is new. This is new tech. This is the Magician skin, Hyperlight Drifter. If you want to know how to get this, we have a YouTube vid made just for you. Also in Hyperlight Drifter is a gun and a sword. And typically, when you play with guns and swords, you already have a 10 out of 10 game. It even has like the cleanest attack animation I've ever seen in this game. You wish Hardlight worked with Ripper? Now, technically, you can actually use Acrobatty Pack with maybe something like Boyax. I guess even Hokuto Bow would work, but might be not quite as potent as Boyax. Wow. But normally, yes, you're right, it doesn't work. And that's because the gun doesn't have arrows to it. Which I'm okay with. Maybe it would have been OP. The devs were thinking ahead of time. Oh, if we have this thing with tactics mutations, V is going to post a busted video. Five things I wish I knew when I played Dead Cells. Use drifter skin. Drifter weapon. And you get free wins. No, we got to nip that in the bud ASAP. Freaking rat. Okay, that one was my fault. That has nothing to do with the rat. Uh, with his current DPS, it probably wouldn't be busted. This is rough. Yeah, so like stuff like that might look a little lower DPS wise. I'm not going to disagree. Um, but I think the concept that I honestly wasn't doing that I need to do more is stacking bullets. The more bullets in the monster, the more damage you deal. And I think that's something that we kind of missed out on. Obviously, against biome monsters, you don't really want to shoot more than one time. And that's where the acrobatic pack comes in. I shoot one time. If the monster doesn't die, something's wrong. We tried Frost Blast before. I feel like Frost Blast was not very good in Acrobatic Pack for this. Like other stuff, it's good, but not the gun. The gun isn't faster than Frost Blast, but it should be faster than Ice Bow. See? Yeah, it even freezes at point blank range. That's kind of sick. Uh, still a scrub. You got 5BC. Haven't reached true end yet. Still try to stack bleed and stuff. Depending on what you're holding. No, that's normal gameplay. It will certainly not lose you the game. There's a world where I'm not playing correctly right now. And I actually should try to get some kind of synergy going. Tom was saying earlier I should try Alchemic Carbine in the backpack. Then I get bleeding, not bleeding, poison damage on the sword. And it's probably legit. Oh, I can get bleed damage on the sword. Do the ice bow. I don't think it works on most of the bosses, because a lot of them don't be don't be don't thaw. Might be fun. Whoa, that's a rampager. Okay, I actually got half my health back. Nice elite rampager. Why is it oops all rampager today? Oh, and they all do that. Reveal secret walls. Maybe, yeah, see, oh my god, instant payment. Yo. Five things I wish I knew when I played Dead Cells. Always get reveal wall. It'll never let you down. Okay, so I chose this map because I think Prison Depths is really, really hard with this. Um, this fights crabs really easily. The only thing this can't really fight well are birds. But then again, like nothing can really fight birds well. 
So we're making the executive decision here. Oh, that's so good. I guess that's how you fight the bird. You just shoot it. Ah, V, you're thinking. That's a whole thinkies just then. Now that does ruin your ice bow. But if you're just shooting at range, like, what's the issue? And maybe this is when you do go for Alchemy Carbine or something. If you plan on just doing tons of shots. It does let me load in more bullets though. Damage better? Yes, I finally bought a sword. After two days of trying this, I think this is our first time buying a sword. <laughs> Five things I wish I knew when I played Dead Cells. D. This is one detail you never told us. You never told us to buy items. A matter of fact, every time I watch you play the game, you have too much money. And you are specifically never buying anything. Wow, I almost jumped into that. Of course, ammo is a thing. Someone asked about networking. We do know that networking does not work. With hard light gun, it only works off the acrobatic pack. Oh my god. Okay. Someone's in here. There we go. Almost have my ammo back. Yeah, I almost feel like I want to swap out the ice bow. It was definitely doing stuff. Oh my god. It jumped back so far. I rolled forward because I thought I would go behind it. So what do y'all think now? If Ice Bow is not necessary because I'm shooting more, what do you get instead of Ice Bow? Is it Carbine? Alchemic that is? Yo, progress. This is the PB right here. That was gonna be such a cool attack. Shoot and then like double jump out of the bullet. But alas. Yeah, I guess in that sense, Ice Bowl is not that bad. Cause like the monster is now slow as they try to get to you. And you get a free bullet. Yeah. Were there always shield bearers on this map? Yo, the slow mo? That, okay, so we call that the alien for a reason. The alien is the scariest monster in the whole game. That's that stuff we don't like. I need 24 monsters? Where are the math majors at? There we go. All right, 20. Will the game give us 20 monsters? Oh, maybe in here? 
So, so far, what I'm seeing from the Hyperlite Drifter weapon, there is some brain usage, but there is a world where you just blast. And again, maybe I've been playing it all wrong. Maybe I've been putting too much stock and not just blapping. Like, sure, the crit combo is nice, but there's also a world where you just shoot them with Tranquilo. Oh my god, I need one more monster game. Please. Oh, free. I told you, don't buy anything yet. You're over saying V, you told us to buy stuff five minutes ago. Now you're saying to save your money. Yes. <laughs> Things change. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I had a thought and it, I, it's gone. Now we're hoarders again. This is Conjunctivious. Conjunct, known to be one of the hardest first set bosses. We're using Hyperlight. Hyperlight against this boss, I actually think is super decent. Oh my god, I didn't even cocoon there. It didn't. I swear I pressed it too. All right, so now I have no ammo. All right, rip to the yays. Jeez, it's been like so long. Okay, no ammo. I'm digging the damage. Like, that looks pretty freaking good. Okay, that was actually really cool. Thank you, Sickle. I'm actually doing a dodge roll and cocoon at the same time. In the event, I don't know which one I want to do. <laughs> Your 1,000 points? Yeah, that was actually really, really good. But to tell you all what happened... Do you see that? Watch Cocoon. Did you see the red for that one moment? We'll do it again. See? It's actually preventing me from using Cocoon because I'm mid-swing. I mean, that's something that's always been in the game. But there's a world where, like, you're going to get yourself killed trying to parry something. And that's not to say that, you know, that's an issue with the hard light. I think it's okay still. It's just this in particular was a bad, bad example of cocoon usage. Wow, this sickle is popping off. See, this is why I like sickle so much. Nice alien. Get some ammo back. All right, so I just wasted like 50 bats. And I would love to see the curse before I see another 50 bats. How does hard light gun do crits? It doesn't. Or at least I certainly have not seen a crit from this. I'm going to assume it was an oversight. Um, they've done that a lot of times where they make a weapon with a crit condition. Um, but it doesn't actually ever do it. Okay. So we got our curse. Let's go find 50 bats. Please tell me I did not just waste all the bats. I couldn't get through without killing them. It was me or them. 
Okay, so here... I'm gonna show you all how to deal with this. Never mind. Surprised it didn't jump down. Okay, so... <laughs> not bad, not bad. I'm running out of ammo, though. Can't do that to everybody. See a happy birthday up here? Yeah, don't even bother hitting the cocoon button at this point. Oh, it didn't die! Commit! There we go. I swear, if I were to press cocoon at all, I would have 100% died. Uh, you're gonna get trolled. Oh, I'm not gonna get trolled. Ah. Yes, I would love to not get trolled. I, I am in full control of not being trolled. Which I, I mean... Might be true to some degree. But again, we don't push the get good narrative. The game has at least something to do with it. Okay, level 9. Bonus to slow down enemy. And then the sword itself. Flaming trail on the sword. So now they don't... I mean, not the sword. The gun. Which is super interesting. I won't freeze monsters anymore. Hmm. I think there's a world you keep it. Oh, that state frozen. Thank you, Cocoon. Like I said, Cocoon can act just like Wave of Denial. You just do it when you're on top of the monster. And chances are you will knock it away like that. No reset. But you're trying to live. Alright, Golem versus Hardlight Gun. Can I just blap it? Who are you shooting at? Well... Not shooting, punching. Shadow boxing? Okay, you cannot cocoon that. Toxic Cloud Boyax. Um. Mm hmm. It's gonna be the pure dot build. Yo! The game gave us the hook. Wait, what? <laughs> Why in the world did it drag me down? I didn't touch it. All right, so we no longer have ice bow. So that's a little worrying. Like we kind of used that very well throughout the run. And now we're back on that boy axe kick. I mean, against the bird on this map, it's pretty good. Functionally, it does the same thing that an ice bow would do. It's just not everything could be snared. Um, but there's not a single monster. Oh, there are some monsters that can't be frozen. Matter of fact, there's monsters on this map that are immune to ice bow. So maybe we, uh, we predicted the future with this build. And maybe Hyperlight Drifter, like, that's what it does. It predicts the future. I didn't play the game. So the goal on this map... We have Cocoon. And that's going to protect us against the Arbiter. And I want to say we have pretty much everything else that we need to get by. All I have to do is live. Because we're glass cannon right now. And apparently only my gun does damage. Which is interesting because the gun actually has less of a modifier on it. Oh, headshots! 
predicted. Tranquilo's doing a bonus 50% damage, by the way. Nice demon. There we go. I think I'm actually dead here. Okay, teleporter below me. Sometimes we do this. Oops. So I didn't expect to get ganged up. I saw one demon. I didn't consider twins was an option. Typically, demons are not hard elites because they can be stunned. Because there was one on each side and all of a sudden I couldn't action both of them. That was scary. Yeah, it wouldn't be Dead Souls without a little butt clincher every now and then. I definitely felt my glutes for the first time. So, I mean, the sword works. It is actually doing stuff. The gun, however, like we kind of put all of our eggs in the gun holster. Which I don't like not mine. Okay, that was kind of sick. But for the most part, like, you think about hard light sword and gun, and you just go all out sword. Like, the sword is your DPS bread and butter. But I'm liking this fake range version. Alright. I think that's the game telling me to use the health flask. Like, V, how long are you going to go until you use that button? If you don't use it right now, we're literally going to end your run. I, I'm sorry, game. I didn't know. I thought we were vibing. Um, is this weapon better as tactics or brutality? Huh, I would say brutality. This tactics run, even though it's working now, still feels a little bit of a struggle. I feel like I wouldn't have to work twice as much if I was playing Brutality right now. But I don't want to play Brutality. I, I played Brutality way too much. And all the weapons in the patch are basically Brutality weapons. So I want to showcase the capability of tactics. Um, This is the Giant. Giant, as you know, one of our favorite bosses, but... With the hard light gun and sword, he can put up a fight. He really can. Uh, we're pretty decked out build-wise. But this is still a real, real boss. Okay, good damage. Got one parry there. I'm being extra careful here. Loading up three bullets. Hoping that moves the needle. I can just shoot. Oh, go in! Oh my god, I had like half a second in order to get that last attack. Oh my god, I think there was a world where I actually could have missed the no-hit here. I wouldn't be surprised if the game, if the devs were moving the levers, you know, they're in the background, Wizard of Oz style. Deciding, eh, do we give them the no hit? Sure. Just this one time. He's been struggling. We gotta make sure he shows a good image of the drifter skin and weapon. You know, make it look like, yeah, he's got the no hit. Busted build right here. Of course he does. This is a 10 out of 10. Where secretly they like pulled the lever down. <laughs> Boss time. Hand of King. 
soon we won't be fighting Hand of the King anymore. We're going to be going to the DLC boss. That's what's up. I'm feeling good about it. Famous last words. We got the point blank. We have Cocoon for the bombs. You bet all in. Oh my goodness gracious. Three bullets. Okay, that was actually pretty good. That slasher wasn't good. Oh my god! He didn't even get to the center! I think he was just gonna walk home! He like, he threw his headset down, he's like, whatever, I'm going home. Screw this. Yo! Hope you're doing great. Also, good luck on the run. Thank you. I need it, buddy. We were popping off earlier. And then, like, we struggled. And now it looks like we're back on the upswing. But you can't take it for granted. <laughs> there we go. That's how you kill Shantae. It's not auto. I have to actually time it. See? Like, it does a parry at pretty much any range. Not any range. It, it does have to actually hit you. But you have to time it. What's the skill called? This is Cocoon. Cocoon is one of the Fatal Falls items. What are y'all thinking so far? About the Hyperlight sword and gun. Like, I know it looks good, but in terms of gameplay, does this look like something that you all would want to do? A lot of times, that's how I do the tier list. It's like, would the viewer want to do this? If yes, if they, like, are begging, V, give me the wheel. That's an S tier. If they're like, V, call the Uber. <laughs> I ain't driving nowhere, nowhere. That might be the F tier. Well, pop my disengage. Because the thing channeled an energy ball above me. And I just stood there like a deer in headlights. I just wanted to do Cocoon. I didn't even consider that as, like, a death potential. <laughs> Alright. You gotta respect the monster. That's the uh, moral of the story. If you don't respect the monster, stuff like that happens. Uh, when you mark the mob with gunshot, all sword strikes are crits, yes. And the gunshot lasts for maybe, like, five seconds. Maybe fives too long and it's a little less than that but not much less like it's enough for you to do a three hit combo and then shoot again to refresh the current marks Um, I'm shooting less, actually, than I was earlier. And maybe that's why I've taken so much damage. Previously, I was just unloading the banana clip. Like, why go up and smack that? Of course, I do have to get my ammo back, though. So I have to slash sometimes. But let's try our best to minimize the amount of basic attacks I do. Utilize that gun. I don't really do this often enough. That is a strat. Uh oh.
All right, running out of ammo, bad. D tier item when you have no ammo. But you do have ammo though, yo, that's the S tier. I guess I should slash the easy stuff. Like, you can't guarantee you won't get hit, but in a world where, like, you have a choice, probably use the gun on anything that, like, isn't a basic zombie. Alright. I'm just gonna go straight in. 534.5. Pretty good on scroll count. I think we missed a scroll at some point. I think chat said I missed Tented Challenge Rift. We have Cocoon, but to be honest, I haven't used Cocoon in this fight in a long time. And I just wasted it. Let's go up. Go up again. Okay, I'm seeing Chunksters. Okay, drop this back down. Two, three. Oh, I only got two shots that time. Flamethrower's doing work. Gun's doing work. I don't know if I need more than three bullets. At least we got a refresh. Yeah, see, I maintained the marks the whole time. Don't have it now. Oh my god, he froze it. So I did a really early cocoon because I thought like that was the timing. But he held it. Cancel that one too. Oh, the he is holding these for so long. My god, it is so hard. Anything but dying? Yeah, that was actually pretty good, but I don't know what that was. It's like he's charging up the walls. I do the cocoon and he's just like, <laughs> he's like peering along the wall. Is he done yet? Yeah, now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Come on. <laughs> that was a good try though. Good try. I like what I saw. And you know what? Without me, you're nothing. I, I, I always want to say that part. It's good luck. I feel like the flamethrower wasn't overkill. Um, I was worried that if I swapped to Tesla coil, it would just be a Tesla coil showcase on the spoiler boss. But I feel like flamethrower, it just, it was there. It gave me bonus damage on my basic stuff. And it moved the needle a little bit. I still had to do hyperlight stuff. And I think the Hyperlight stuff looked good. How would I rank it overall? I still want to only give it a B. Only because I would be worried that someone would take it Tactics, take Ripper, take Networking, take Barb Tips, and like, all right, yeah, B said this is an S rank item. I have Barb Tips and Networking. I'm just going to shoot everything and just watch the melt. It doesn't work with those at all. Okay, that's fine. Uh, screw the networking stuff. I'm going to do Acrobati Pack, just like how V did. And then I'm going to take uh, Frost Blast, so it does AoE Freeze. Uh, it freezes, but then you shoot, so the monster isn't actually frozen anymore because the gun's a little too slow for the Frost Blast shot. So I feel like there's a little too many intricacies in there. 
Um, and I'm not sure if Susie likes intricacies. I want big number. B. Big number and I don't die. That's an S rank. Anything that's like more complex than that, you, you gotta take away points. Now, fun factor, I would say fun factor S tier. It's a heck of a lot more fun than Twin Dagger. <laughs>